Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Red All Over. Uh, this is DJ Joe Redhead doing my Saturday morning vlog uh, that the masses adore. I actually meant to get started much earlier today, but we uh, had a late night and then you want to be in your warm bed. and So this morning I definitely hit the snooze like Jagger. I hit the snooze like Jagger. Um, until finally I dragged myself up and was like, let's be productive today. I just found out this morning that Maryland has apparently passed um, some sort of gay marriage bill. I don't know if all of the steps have been achieved yet, and also Washington State recently. It's kind of a big month for gay rights, and it kind of makes me wonder how long can we do this? How many states are going to be able to pass this before a federal decision is made? Food for thought. Last night the boy and I went out to a beautiful, beautiful house party. Um, we walked in the door and everything was so well designed and they had such elegant like glassware. Just everything about it made us realize that as gay men, we're not even trying. I met a girl recently who had actually tattooed on her inner lips. So when you like pulled this, like when you pulled this down like this, it actually said DTF. I think it'd be funny if she also had like LOL across the top and OMG like on this side. Probably the coolest thing I've heard recently is this new story about the X-Men. Marvel Comics distributed, Marvel, the corporation that owns the X-Men, has been locked in a 10-year lawsuit with the U.S. government because when toys are imported into America, dolls of human likenesses are taxed at a higher rate than dolls of non-human likenesses. This is probably a hangover from some law to protect Barbie. For the last 10 years, Marvel has been paying tax on the X-Men as if they were humans. So now they are arguing that the X-Men are actually not humans at all, and they want this so that they can get their tax money back. The like ironic thing about this is that it's the X-Men's entire plight to be viewed as human, right? They want very much to be seen as equal and to not be feared and to not be like shunned. So I think it's kind of ironic that now Marvel is pulling this stunt. I have to thank Radiolab for that story. Um, I have slowly decided over the past two years that my ideal career in life would be to be some sort of host of a science documentary. Um, the one that comes to mind is actually Scientific American Frontiers and Alan Alda. And so I guess that's why I like doing these podcasts. Uh, vlogs. It sounds like such a fun... I think if I could just have Alan Alda's life, I would be the happiest person ever. If anyone has any advice on how I could have Alan Alda's life, please let me know below. The other person I have to thank is actually my friend Scott, who smacked me around last week and was like, don't be too busy for something you love. So thank you, Scott. Okay, that's it, everybody. I'm gonna go to the gym now. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great weekend. Toys of human likenesses are taxed when they're imported at a higher rate than toys of non-human likenesses.